Hi, it's Verne Lewis O'Neill here again for Verne and Ryan's MJJJ5 Fanatics channel. Thank you so much for tuning in. So you already know what I'm going to start with. I'm going to start talking about this contest that I'm in, but let me give you some peace of mind. <laughs> today is the last day of this contest. So whatever happens today is it. The next video, you won't have to hear me talk about the contest. I won't be begging you for votes, but it's not over yet. So you know the routine. Go to Hector Barjot, hit subscribe, view his channel, find the community tab, and please vote for me and my husband for best Michael Jackson collection of 2021. We are about 5% behind and it is so hard to keep up and stay on top of this. So we need your vote, your friends vote, your friends' friends vote. Please, 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 this is the last day. So we are at the end of this race. And then you don't have to hear about it anymore unless I win. <laughs> so anyway, today we're gonna to be talking about some Jackson 5 books, just a few of them. But prior to starting this video, I said, you know, I'm waiting for something in the mail and I should give it a few minutes to see if it shows up. And lo and behold, it did. Don't you love tracking? So today from a company called Coda Records, that's just a little catalog right there. These came, this is the limited edition 10 inch glow in the dark Michael Jackson. They're called uh, The Man in the Mirror. You know, me and my husband always get two. That way we can open one. And I'll show you what it looks like. It's a glow in the dark album. It is a two vinyl set. So there's another album in here. And I will tell you what's on it in one second. Let me get this back in here. It's like a little, like, um, like a mini greatest hits almost, I guess you can say. But so on side A, the way you make me feel, man in the mirror, don't stop till you get enough. I'll hold it up while I read. Um, the way you make me feel, scream, beat it, thriller, Billy Jean. It's it's a medley of songs on that one. And then Dangerous and Smooth Criminal together. You are not alone, jam, Billy Jean, black or white. And now we're on C, side C. We are the world and heal the world and gone too soon. And then oddly, side D. Oprah Winfrey interviews Michael Jackson. <laughs> what a weird choice. But yeah, so there is a whole Oprah Winfrey interview on the fourth album. But it's still beautiful, so I wasn't going to let that, you know, stop me. Um, also today in the same package was the limited edition picture disc. Um, I'll show you the one that's out of the package. Um, and this one is just um, essentially the same thing. It has Jam, Billie Jean, Black and White, We Are the World, Going Too Soon, Heal the World, and the Oprah Winfrey interview. <laughs> I don't know why, this is a very interesting choice to me. Um, but yeah, but they're absolutely beautiful in person. And like I said, the 10 inch glows in the dark. So I just figured since I had your attention, I might as well show you. Yours probably came today too, but so you're probably not even excited to see mine. But let's get this show on the road. So the first book we're going to talk about is simply called The Jackson Five. And I'll try to keep it out of the glare as much as, ah, there's a good spot. The Jackson Five. So this book came out in 1972 from a company called Let's Save the Children. It was based in Chicago, Illinois. It's a real, real tiny book. It's only 22 pages. It's a lot of pictures. It's a children's book. So I'm just going to read a tiny bit because... The whole book rhymes because, you know, children's books usually do. So this is the first page. It says, here's a group that you'll know. They'll put on a super bad show. The sounds are great. That's no jive. Gary Indiana's Jackson 5. So the whole book is pretty much like that, you know, cute little rhymey rhymes. So that's cute. That's cute. Um, this one is not really um, a book that you would read. This is actually your piano, vocal, and chords. It's called The Best of the Jackson Five. It came out in 1974. It has 18 of their songs in it. So if you're a piano player, 
or vocal performer. Um, this is a nice little songbook to have. Okay, and that's called The Best of the Jackson 5. Nothing much to say about that because I don't play instruments, but. So book number three is called, guess, The Jackson 5. Not a whole lot of creativity in the names. There is uh, The Jackson 5, rock and pop star from a series called Creative Education that was based out in Minnesota. This particular book was actually written by Charles and Ann Morse. And this is written more of a storybook form, meaning it's extremely descriptive, like you were reading a fiction book. Here's an example. It was Jackson 5 day in Gary, Indiana, a cold January 31st. Though the temperature was low, it was a day of high spirits. So it kind of goes like that. And also there's no actual pictures in here. All of the pictures are watercolors, just like the cover, okay? And this book has about 31 pages in it. It's just a cute little J5 story about them, their life performing. Um, the next one is called, <laughs> they got a little more creative, On Stage, Jackson 5. <laughs> this one's from 1976, When I Was Born, <laughs> there you go, by Harriet Lake. And this is from the same publishing company as this one creative education see that this one has 47 pages and about 11 pictures and this is another startup story you know how the Jackson 5 got started and you know it's another easy read another children's books you'll see that most of these have library codes on them so these were in children's libraries and once it gets old they either resell them or sometimes they trash them or they donate them and then people like us who love the Jacksons, we go, oh, look at that, 50 cents, <laughs> or however much it was. So those are all the little, little kid books, I guess. So now we move up <clears throat> to about 1985, when there was a book called Papa Joe's Boys, and I know you guys have this one, so I don't really feel like I have to say too much about Papa Joe's Boys. Um, but Papa Joe's Boys came out in 1983, it has 96 pages with photos. The photos for this particular book were all supplied by Write On Magazine. So, black girls and boys loved Write On Magazine. We loved Black Beat Magazine. Those are the things like when you go to the store, like you had to look for them because chances are your favorite was gonna be on the cover. I, there was nothing like being subscribed to Black Beat and Write On, and then you open in your mailbox and there's Michael on the cover. I mean, awesome. So they were the ones who supplied the pictures for this. And Cynthia Horner, who is the um, editor for Write On Magazine, actually does the foreword in this book. So it talks a little bit in the front of the book about the group as a whole. And then as you get further in the back, it goes through each individual brother. Michael is the last story and the biggest story. So, you know, that's one to have. Now this one looks like it should be older, but this one actually came out after that. This is called the Michael Jackson Scrapbook. This one actually is copyrighted for 1984, but it says its first Avon pub printing didn't happen until 1985. There's 128 pages and 100 pictures. Now this is by a man named Weldon A. McD McDougal the third. So he was what you call a leading rock star photographer. So this book shows all the time that he spent with the Jackson 5 at their home in Encino, on the road. I mean, even when they were being tutored by Miss Fine, he talks about how um, her main purpose there was to make sure that there was no child protection laws being violated while the boys were working and doing their schoolwork. Um, the funny thing about this is that my husband had a chance to meet the author of this book and actually become pretty good friends with him at one point. Um, you know, it went out a couple times. I believe my um, husband cut his hair. My husband's a barber. I believe my husband cut his hair a few times. So this book is really special to my husband because he has a personal connection to the author. So I think he has, <laughs> I don't know how many copies of this, but he really loves this book. So I wanna make sure I give it all the love and attention that I know Ryan would. But it's a great book. It has so many unique pictures that you wouldn't usually see um, 
And then it has this famous picture that, you know, Michael making a, that goofy face that we all love. Uh, Mr. McDougal took that picture. So that's, that's definitely one to check out. And I think I have something bookmarked here that I was going to read to you. Oh, I thought this was cute to share. When I was working for Motown, I used to have all the records, like the Supremes, all the hits. I would give my son a record and ask him what he thought of it. He'd say, it's all right, Dad. In other words, he wasn't interested. One day I told him I was working with the Jackson Five. He said, I like them. I saw them on Ed Sullivan. Can you introduce me to them? I would really like to meet them. I was really proud. Finally, I'm dealing with somebody that my son likes. I thought that was cute. So it's a great book, so definitely check it out. And the last one is actually one that just came out not too long ago, but I wanted to share it because it's another book about all the brothers. The Jackson Legacy. Now this book is um, fairly new. This book is written by the brothers along with someone named Fred Bronson. It's published by Black Dog and Leventhal Publishers of New York. This book is humongous. It's mainly pictures. I mean, it's like a ton of gorgeous pictures. Let's see if I can, it's so hard to hold, it's heavy. I mean, I know you guys have it, but I'll just kind of sweep through a little bit. Not, you're not getting anything good in there. But um, this is a beautiful book. It's kind of like a book of memories that the brother put together. It has a lot of quotes in it, some interviews, but it is mainly pictures. And it goes all the way up to Michael's passing and shows um, some pictures of the brothers touring after Michael's death. So this is um, definitely the most recent book um, that we have in our collection. So in the future, I'm gonna be doing another video on my other books because I have a whole library over here of books that um, you know are mainly about Michael, but I just wanted to make sure I gave the Jacksons and the Jackson 5 some love on their own because they deserve it. And I wanted to make sure that we just, you know, give them a shout out. So these are just the few books that we have on the Jackson 5. But when I do the Michael book review, I'm not gonna do every book that I have that we know we all have the same stuff. I'm just gonna pull some of my more favorite ones, my unique ones, and then we will have a whole discussion about that. So what am I gonna leave you with? Make sure you vote for Vernay for the Hector Bargeau Best Michael Jackson Collection of 2021 Award. This is it. This is my final chance. You are my final and only hope. Please don't disappoint me. Please don't make me cry. But please, if you have voted already, I appreciate you and I appreciate all the support and all the love from everyone. But all I ask is that you please share it with a friend and just help us get our numbers up and help us take this thing to the end. Help us bring this home. We would love to have it and it would mean a lot to us. So thank you so much for watching and uh, check out those new albums that I just got. If you haven't ordered them, go to Coda Records. I don't know if it was, I know it was a limited edition, but I don't know if it's over. So just go look, C-O-D-A Records, Coda Records. Thank you.